up and over like this. Well, oh. Or something, I don't, I don't know. The one that's like all aggressive. You bitch. Was it Brawler? No, it's not like that. Oh, I'm gonna look it up now. I just watched all your friends die. You're gonna be, still gonna be too stupid to run away. Survival of the fittest, I suppose. At least you won't procreate this way. <sighs> I shot one dude's head off with a freaking phantom blade, and everybody flips the fuck out. I was, I'm still- I'm about- uh -oh. I'm about halfway through, uh, Dan Janot's, uh, Assassin's Den podcast. Um, and it's really weird hearing him in an American accent, obviously. But, um, it- well, he, he's not American. He's Canadian. He was born and raised in Montreal. But, um, you know, sometimes when he's talk, he's answering the host's questions and, um, the community questions. And he's saying something and he says, out. <laughs> like the Canadians do. Um. It's weird. I'm like, okay, Arno just said out. Because it's still his voice, but it's like a Canadian accent. It's, 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 it's quite strange. Fucking bitch fuck. I just decided I really don't fucking like you, so you know what? Fuck you. Lay down and shut up. Forever. <laughs> I'm being a little ragey today. Alright, there we go. Two left. Okay, up there. Is this one really gonna be this easy? I just jinxed it. No, I did. There's a way I could throw you guys off. Make the bad men fly. But there isn't, so whatever. I'll take what I can get. Alright, you wanna fucking shoot me? Okay! I mashed left bumper for like three seconds and he didn't do shit! I didn't bother healing until I killed him because I thought I was gonna kill him! Apparently not! Alright. Fuck you, Arno. Just... Literally and figuratively. Just... In... In... In the sexy way and and in the angry way, just 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 fuck you. Hard to stomach the idea of foreign soldiers marching down our streets, but if it stops these radicals from destroying our country, I'm for it. How far away is the Austrian army? Whoa! Hold on, what's the matter with you? Are you looking at me like that? <sighs> what are you doing? <laughs> That was very cinematic. He's like, what's wrong with you? Don't come all the way over here, though. Okay. Oh my god. I think a demon just entered that man's body. Kind of scared now. Alright. Um. Can you pass out now? <laughs> you want to lie down and take a nap. Now would be better. Any day now, good sir. Thank you. My Jedi mind trick's a little off. Bit out of practice. <laughs> Alright, oh, there's the... Is that the Pantheon? Looks like it. Okay, uh, last one. Did that one nice and stealthily. 
Doesn't redeem me from my last two abominations of performance, but still. Okay. Almost there. Stop right there! Found you! Thank you, Ted. You there! Hold fast! Shut the fuck up! Oh, he's looking at the berserk guy, I think. Okay. Well, I'll leave him be if he's distracted. Shit! Okay, um, let's go ahead and berserk this guy. You know, if I just, if I can get close enough. There we go. Now back up, back up, back up, back up, back up. Okay. La justice to rouge. Oh, I did not, that didn't last very long, did it? Well, fuck! Shame I wasted that last one! Okay, hold on. I have a plan. Not that. Um. Can my poison gas reach all the way over there? It can't. Just a little closer. Hold there, dipshit. Alright. I'm, I'm being seen a little bit, but not for very long. I'll take it. Okay, um. If I can. God damn it, I keep hitting the wrong bumper. Potentially get it around the corner to get both of them. Maybe if I can just get a little closer. I can't make out what those signals are saying. You get a full message in a single word. It's an order of some kind. A Duke Ferdinand and his men. You mean like March on Paris or the like? Something near that. Only in German, I'd imagine. <laughs> you know what else is? You know what else feels funny? It's like in a uh, season five of Game of Thrones. How's your arm? And now, how's your head? <laughs> Which one? Anyway, um. All right, that's four of four. I did half stealthily and half not stealthily, so there we go. We're playing it safe here, nice and even. There. <laughs> I totally meant to do everything you just saw. Alright. And that's two. Now, let's see. Precious correspondence. Um, I'm assuming the last two are, have to do with that. So, um, alright. I guess we're gonna go up, up and do the uh, Kill by Science murder mystery now. How far away is it? <laughs> it's so far away. <gasps> ah! We have nothing to do in between here and there, so why don't we just... Save some time and fast travel. We'll fast travel to Leolo Bleh. Where is the murder mystery? There it is. Okay. Fast travel to Leolo Bleh. I'm so excited to finally 100% this game. I'm gonna 100% this game before I 100% Black Flag. On either console. I got up to 97% on Black Flag. And then... Um... All I had left was the buy the book achievement, which is to go back and do a full sync for all the missions. I just never finished. And uh, then I got the Xbox One version, I haven't played the 360 version since, so I guess I'm just starting all over. But I still have my original save. I just never went back to do the thing, so. What can you do? Um, out of the- okay, pole. Excuse me! Ew, hiccup, out of the way. All right, killed by science. Here we go. That's gonna fucking hurt. It's gonna kill me. Yep. You could aim for the wire if you wanted to. I guess he didn't want to. He couldn't live without leaves anymore. That's terrible. I'm sorry. I shouldn't say that. I believe. Is this the building? It kind of looks like it, but I'm not sure. The building where you kill Louis Michel Le Pelletier. Could be. Um, might be. I think it is. The alarm bell's right there. That's the window you can bribe the woman to open for you. Yeah, this is where you kill Louis Michel Le Pelletier. I did go back and do the poison assassination. Um, I think I mentioned that in an earlier episode, but um, yeah, it was pretty cool. The daughter's like, Are you alright, Papa? And he, she's like, Oh, I'm fine, dear. Just, I, I just need some air. And he goes to leave and just, Bleh! and then you move in for the killing blow. But okay, um, solve the mystery of the noontime death. Well, okay. 
Alexandre Loisac. Loisac? In his 30s, nicely dressed. A gaping hole pierces completely through his chest from front to back? No, it doesn't. He has a surprised expression on his face. I'd imagine. Like, what the fuck just happened? Okay. Oh, my poor Alexandre. Oh! Oh! This little thing! I Noontime detonation! Duh! This is a little mini cannon someone built to fire every day at noon. Sort of like an alarm. Alright, eight clues here in the park. We had a rendezvous. I arrived at the stroke of noon and that cannon suddenly fired. Well, yeah. He was instantly killed. As far as I know, he hadn't an enemy in the world. So we're thinking accident, but... Statement of Ariane. Ariane. Friend. She had a rendezvous with the victim, arrived precisely at noon, the cannon fired, killing him instantly. Like, oh, hello, Ariana! Uh! <laughs> okay. Oh, there's something next to the body. It appears to have been dropped by the victim. Dear Alexandre... Alexander? I'll just say Alexander. It is with great joy and excitement that I accept your invitation to meet on the 13th... Termidor at noon, exactly near the famous canon in the Palais Royal. Yes, this is where you kill the Peltier. Okay. On the letter is the recipient's address. Seven Rue de la Monnoie... Jesus Christ, I need to get better at French. I started learning it uh, a couple months back. I want to keep doing it. Last night, I did manage to wake up, and I swear I saw somebody fiddling with a cannon. Then he limped away. Cripple, I guess. I conked out. Conked out? <laughs> La Grouille. Okay. Vagabond. Always in the park. Saw someone interfering with the solar cannon in the night. Whoever he saw limped. All right. God damn it. Um, so I take it that the cannon isn't supposed to fire real bullets. Or like, it's not supposed to actually combust at noon. I'm assuming someone tampered with it. But how did they know he was going to stand right in front of it? He could have stood on any side of that thing. Huh. I come by every day to set my pocket watch. I saw the young man waiting over there, holding a bouquet of flowers. Then bam! Very upsetting, as you can imagine. I did notice one thing. The cannon usually points in a different direction. Does it now? Ah, yeah, so they moved it. But if he arrived exactly at noon and it fired, then it's obviously in the right spot. Unless it originally was supposed to do something else, but... The solar cannon. Famous solar cannon of the Palais Royal. Smoke is still wafting from its barrel. At the base of its pedestal, the name of the inventor and manufacturer is engraved. Robert Rousseau, clockmaker, 12 Galerie de Valois, Palais Royal. Baron de Valois! From Assassin's Creed Brotherhood? And practice your French. Soon all of Italy will be speaking it. <laughs> Nothing hangs between your thighs. In fact, there is a hole there. So deep it reaches into the Malefato Inferno or something like that. Maledato Inferno? Something like that. Maledato Inferno! Lady of the Evening. Well, oh, alright. I feel sorry for the poor guy, but. It was a real show. Pretty much blew a giant hole in him. You know who you should talk to? But Sergeant Fabry. He's the veteran loads that cannon every morning. Check Café Fabrier. Table by the window. Café Fabrier, table by the window. Thank you very much, you sick, twisted bitch. All right. I have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. I'm missing eight. Oh, the flowers. Okay. Oh, there's a Nostradamus Enigma here. That's right. A charming bouquet of fresh flowers. Obviously, he was meeting a woman. Ariane. Obviously. Okay. That's suspicious. Alright, well, that's all clues in the park, so let's see what we got. Um, we can go to Café Fevrier for the guy who loads the cannon every day. The clockmaker who actually made the cannon. That'll be exciting. I get to meet Rousseau. <gasps> And are those only two other locations I've got? Oh no, there's one. Oh fuck, all the way out here. Victim's house. Maybe we should go there first. Victim's house. Six. Okay, so there's the park, the victim's house, the clockmaker, the cafe. I need to find two more. More! I guess it's just a constant wave of the guys. Fucking 
Okay, try. 